Welcome to the Bettendorf Public Library's Take Home Workshop. This time around, we are going to be making these paper orbs. I really like this craft because it looks incredibly complicated and it is really not. It also is extremely customizable. You can make them different sizes and obviously different colors just depending on what paper you use. So you can adapt it to any holiday or any event. So let's take a look at what's in the kit. In your kit, you're going to find some decorative paper and you'll also find our pattern. What we're asking you to supply is a pair of scissors, a somewhat sharp pencil. You don't want it too sharp because you're going to be using it instead of for writing for scoring. A uh, knitting needle would also work well for this. And then you're going to need some glue and that's all. Let's get started. Your first step is going to be to cut out the strips from your pattern page. Then you want to cut your decorative paper the same way into two inch by 10 inch strips. You'll lay your pattern strip on top of your decorative paper. I'm working on a cutting mat and that surface is still a little too hard for me to make very good score lines. So I'm using two paper towels underneath my papers that that's gonna give it just enough of a cushion that I get a better score line on my decorative paper. Now I'm gonna use my pencil and pressing very hard, I'm going to go over the dotted lines on the pattern piece. You wanna go hard enough that it's going to make an indentation in your decorative paper, but not so hard that you're poking through the pattern piece. So we're going to do that on all four of the circles and then we're also going to do it on the little straight line across the end that indicates where we will glue this into a circle. And I'll do that on three strips. Once my strip is scored, then I'm going to very gently fold along those score lines. This is not the final fold. This is a guideline that you'll use later to get the final fold. So you don't want to crease it very, very tightly. You just want to fold it enough that you'll be able to see where those bends are. Then I'm going to take my first strip, we'll call it strip A, and we're going to glue the end overlapping to the point of where that little straight score line was, so about half an inch. So just a little bit of glue. We're going to repeat the gluing with the second strip. Once you have the first two glued so that they're in round strips, you'll insert one, we'll call it strip A, inside the second one called strip B. We want to make sure that the seams are hidden on the inside, underneath the other one. Then we'll take strip C. We're going to thread it through the inner ring, strip A, around the outside of strip B, and then in through strip A again. Then you're gonna glue those two ends together outside of strip B. And you'll end up with three interlocking strips. Once you have your three interlocking strips, then you can Spin the strips around so that all the seams are hidden. You don't want to see any of the seams. 
and then you can start bending the paper along those previous score lines, pushing the edges of the strips down towards the center of the ball. Oops, there's a seam, so we're gonna slide that one around again until it's hidden. It is easier to hide those seams before you start making the bends. So try and make sure you do that, but it's not impossible. So we're just going to keep holding those down. There should be 12 sides to your ball. Your balls obviously doesn't have sides, but there should be 12 places where you'll fold down those things. And then you can also go through and you can pinch the corners a little bit and make those corners nice and tight and precise, and that will help fold it together. And there you have it. That is your finished paper orb. So with three sheets of paper, you can get three orbs, obviously, but each sheet gives you four strips. So if you take the leftover strip from each sheet, you can have one more orb that's a multitude of designs. Um, a little busy, but I think very cool. Now, some other things that you can do with these is you can resize them. So if you take your pattern and photocopy it and reduce the size of it when you photocopy it so that everything is still in proportion, then you can end up with smaller orbs as well. Then those you can take and you can get a, a needle through them and you can thread them on yarn and you can make a garland. You could do a lot of them in different colors and different sizes and um, hot glue them onto a wreath form and make a wreath for your front door or you could just take these really great things and you could pile them in a big glass bowl and they would make a really pretty centerpiece for your 4th of July picnic. We'd love to see your work, so please share it with us through social media. And we'd like to thank the Friends of the Bettendorf Public Library for sponsoring this take-home workshop.